Mission Trails Regional Park Foundation is pleased to present an exhibition featuring seven award-winning artists who work in various mediums. Lois Adler Roussel, Suzanne Flowers, Ralph Kingery, Caroline Morse, Shannon O'Dunn, Roz Osserin, and Susan Weinberg Harder. Lois Adler Roussel's etchings are in collections all over the United States, Denmark, and Israel. Her professional organizations include the San Diego Museum of Art Artists Guild, San Diego Art Institute, the National Colored Pencil Society of America, and Colored Pencil Society of San Diego. Lois has a master's degree in printmaking from San Diego State University. Her teaching experience includes San Diego Mesa College and San Diego State University. Award-winning artist Suzanne Flowers' most recent work journeys beyond the figurative and into the realm of nature. While exploring the intricacies of bird nests, Suzanne has captured an underlying mood. By employing loose, expressive lines that define and complement the nests, she alludes to the fragility of our natural environment. In college, Ralph Kingery studied industrial design, but later worked as a land use and environmental planner for most of his adult life. In 2013, after his retirement, he started watercolor classes, joined the San Diego Watercolor Society and the San Diego Art Market Association in Balboa Park. Since then, over 30 of his paintings have been accepted into shows at the San Diego Watercolor Society. His art has been exhibited at the Mission Trails Visitor Center, the Southwest Yacht Club, and La Jolla Library. Color is what motivates Caroline Morse. Her landscapes and oil are interpretive realism rather than photorealism. She likes to paint landscapes, flowers, and figures, adding a little of her own sensibilities. Caroline grew up in Seattle, Washington, and enjoyed art from a young age. She moved to New York after college and then to San Diego after retirement. Though she had careers in foundation administration, agency management, social work, and art therapy, Caroline resumed her artistic passions in San Diego, studying from a variety of community resources over the years, including Sebastian Capella, Ray Roberts, and at the Athenaeum. Shannon O'Dunn is the owner of O'Dunn Fine Art and an artist in oils, pastel, and drawing media. She has studied with artists Greg Krutz, Terry Gortmaker, and Jack Jordan. A geologist, she enjoys landscape interpretations and has painted many vistas of the southwestern United States, including the Grand Canyon, Dinosaur, Devil's Tower, the Rockies, and the Sierras. Shannon Jury, the 2016 Borrego Art Institute 10th Annual Plein Air event and will assume directorship of that annual exhibition and sale beginning in 2018. A member of the California Art Club, she recently traveled to Europe with a cohort from Plein Air magazine. Painting in oil and watercolor was always something that Roz Osserin wanted to know if she could do. With a career as a hairstylist and salon owner, it was only after her children were grown that she decided to pursue this dream. Roz began oil painting classes in 2007, studying under Jack Jordan, a former art teacher at Cuyamaca College. Two years later, she added watercolor to her studies and continues learning by taking several different workshops given by local artists. She is a member of the San Diego Watercolor Society, Foothills Art Association, and the East County Art Association. Susan Weinberg Harder grew up in London, England and came to San Diego in 1970. She has been drawing and painting in watercolor for many years. After studying and practicing calligraphy extensively, she began incorporating watercolor illustrations in her work. After retirement in 2002, she studied and practiced watercolor more seriously, attending classes and workshops. Susan has been showing her works in galleries around San Diego and has won several awards. This exhibit will be on display in the Mission Trails Regional Park Visitor Center Art Gallery January 7th through February 3rd, 2017. The public is cordially invited to a reception in honor of the artists on Sunday, January 8th, 1 to 4 p.m.